Well, good morning, everyone. I hope we're all doing well. Um, today is Friday, the 6th of October, 2023, and oh, I am excited because guess where I'm going today? Yeah, my first ever PAX. It's gonna be so good, guys. Let's get to it. So this vlog is gonna be a little bit different to the DreamHack vlog. I'm not gonna show every single booth, I'm not gonna mention everything I did, but I just wanted to talk about most of the things from my experience at PAX Australia for the very first time. And well, considering the fact that I'm in a regional area in my state, um, yeah, the car ride was long. It was quite long, but you know, it is what it is, and hey, I think these scenic shots made up for it. <laughs> But, yeah, this was my very first PAX, and, well, immediately from what I can tell about the whole venue, the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Center, as we see in this upcoming shot here, well, not this one, but, it, it's a big place. It is a massive building, like, it is huge, and, well, when you see the entrance, yeah, you can tell that this is the biggest gaming convention in the country, and, well, the queues were long. And in fact, funny story, the dirt path we were walking on was muddy. So, yeah. <sighs> Alright, so we're in, and, well, it's quite a long walk, but, let's do this. So, when it comes down to the queues, they were long. And in fact, this next clip I show, I have to speed it up because, legit, it was long. Long, long. And when it's long, long, it's the kind of thing you wouldn't want to mess with. But as I was walking on over into the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Center, I meet the first one of the peeps that I actually got to meet throughout the trip. What's going on, brother? How you it's doing? so good. For those who may not know who this absolute legend is, this is Damo. Now, he recently joined an organization called Prevail, so that's why he was wearing the pretty snazzy shirt there. But if you're not familiar who Damo is, he is a fellow Australian content creator who lately have mostly been doing Mario Kart, and I've actually been collaborating with him on the Switch Em Up Sunday series, so. Go check it out over on my Twitch and Damu's Twitch as well. I'll put links to everybody's pages that I mention here. But I did meet a bunch of fellow content creators. Another one I met was, oh, Mad Dog, who, if you guys don't know, is my commentary partner, buddy, for TCW, a WWE 2K e fed that I've been really enjoying being a part of. I'm actually involved in commentary, in production, and as a character, so that's pretty sick as well. And I also got to meet my buddies over at the Pop Culturist, who, funny thing in TCW, I'm actually teaming up with them. <laughs> but they run a podcast called For the Players, which is legitimately one of my favorite podcasts. And since I won't be showing every booth off here in this video, I recommend you guys check out their PAX booth tour. It is a superb video. You guys will love it. So, what was it like walking into PAX? Well, let's let a few minutes of this video play and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this song! Yeah. You're playing all sorts earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Grab a light up. Oh, oh. Hi. Here we go! Oh, it's awesome! <laughs> First bit of free swag! <laughs> and there was definitely more to come with the free swag, but... We'll take a look at more of the merch items in the merch section of this video, right by the end of it. Okay, everyone! The moment you've all been waiting for! A little bit of a showcase of all the different booths, haha! <laughs> And legitimately, I cannot go through every single booth here. There's a whole tabletop section. There's so many booths or a thing that I highly recommend 
you check out the Pub Culturist Pax Booth Tour video. Man, there is just so much here that I couldn't feature everything. So we're only gonna show off a few here, like Pax Rising, which, well, had a lot of indie games. And legitimately, this is a long walk. <laughs> um, Pax Rising was featured both for the main games and for the tabletop stuff, and there were a lot of indie games. I only got to play one of the games featured here, but oh boy, it was a good one. But yeah, Pax Rising was huge. Like, seriously, it was the whole entrance area. You immediately come in and boom, indie games. Like, a lot of indie games. A lot, a lot of indie games. Like, if you love indie games, this was the section for you. And legitimately, I'm really impressed in the direction they went with for this section. Bravo, guys. It was a lot, but the kind of a lot that you probably would like to say. Um, AIE had an interesting presence there. I'm not too familiar with what who these guys are, but you know what? I'm really impressed with their booth there. But by far, the biggest company to showcase stuff in was Nintendo. And you know you're the biggest booth when you have a freaking merch store for yourself. <laughs> um, they were showing off some of their games that you could already play. And they even showed off some of the games that they were showing off in third parties, like Sonic Superstars. And over here, Prince of Persia, which I'll talk more about some of the games I played when we get to the game section. They even had a freaking dedicated Pokemon section. And they even brought the big guns, Mario and Luigi themselves. And how fitting they were here, because their brand new game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, took up most of the Nintendo booth. And while I didn't get to play it, from what I heard, it was pretty solid. Sega by far had the second largest booth, showing off the latest entry of the Yakuza franchise with Like a Dragon, the man who erased his name, and I will talk about that one soon. But by far the biggest title they were showing off was Sonic Superstars, the latest entry in the Legendary franchise. And, oh I don't know, they had freaking Lego Sonic, a life-size Lego Sonic built out of actual Lego. And you know it had to be cool because, oh, I don't know, I took a freaking photo next to it. Seriously, this is going to live forever for me. And, of course, they were showing off the game, which was looking pretty good, but I'll talk more about that a little bit later. As for the Twitch booth, the main platform I do content on, it was just a lounge of Twitch partners. Alrighty then. <laughs> Audio Technica had a really good presence there, showing off all their stuff. And even Netties was there, showing off the latest entry in the Eve series. So there were a lot. And now, a food review segment. So, PAX Australia this year had the PAX Pub, which was sponsored by a drink called Grog. And legitimately, I had never heard of the drink, but it sounded pretty good. But how did it taste? Well, let's find out. <sighs> All right, I've got myself a can of grog. Let's try it. Okay. It tastes like great bubble gum. Like, that's probably the best way I can describe it. It, it tastes like a pack of great bubble gum. I'm, I like it. I think I'll take it up to Oh wow, yeah. That actually does taste like great bubble gum. Yeah, it's really nice. It's actually really nice. Well, that was a little surprising. And yeah, Grog had a huge presence at the PAX Pub. In fact, if you gave out your empty cans, you were able to spin this wheel to most likely get some free grog, or some other little bits and bobs. I'm not too sure about that, but, well, it's always a luck thing. And speaking of wheels, I actually span a wheel, as, well, Game on Cancer had a fun little spin wheel, where if you spun it, you could win a prize. So, that's what I did. Alright, okay, let's see what we get. 
Okay, legitimately, I did not expect to win something there, but you know what? Hey, getting myself that water bottle was a really cool thing, and hey, legitimately, the guys at Game on Cancer, they were pretty damn cool. But speaking of the food thing from earlier, what is the con food like? Well, I got some chips and popcorn chicken, so let's see what it's like. Alright, I am very particular when it comes to chicken, so... Let's give these a try. Okay. Hmm. The batter is very crispy. The chicken itself tastes pretty nice. Yeah, these aren't too bad. They're pretty good. I I think they're nice. So of course, go to have a chip. Yeah, decent chips. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad when it comes to the food. I had an amazing time at Pax Australia. It was a lot of fun, and would I do it again? Absolutely. It was an amazing time, got to see so many amazing people, and I got to play so many amazing games. But what are the games like? So, what about the games? Well, I played about five of them, and I'm going to try and go in the order that I played them, but obviously I didn't play too much of everything, but I think from what I've played, I've got a good idea on what I think of the game, so I'm going to let you guys know what I think of all of them. So, right, first one I played was Tekken 8, and that was at the console free play area. Um, some of the people at Bandai Namco were actually there, and I got to meet one of them. Honestly, it was so great to speak with them. Bandai Namco are one of my favorite publishers. I'd love to work with them again on more stuff. I did actually mention about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and... Oh boy, it's looking like it's gonna be mad for that. <laughs> but, yeah, so Tekken 8! Um, what do I think of the game? Well, I think it's great. Like, the gameplay seems to be even better than what Tekken 7 brought. I, I like Tekken 7. I think the game is fun, but I think Tekken 8 just takes it up to that next level. Like, it feels like the next step for Tekken. Uh, King played really well. I was playing as him. He played really great. Felt very smooth and enjoyable. Um, This is actually the first time I got to play a fighting game with an arcade stick, as, well, I never actually owned an arcade stick. But I would love to, and maybe this will be my thing to convince me to get one. <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed my time with Tekken. Definitely worth giving it a go. Um, After that, I played, I believe, Sonic Superstars. Yeah, that was the next one I played, Sonic Superstars. Loved it! Oh my god, it was brilliant. Uh, Sonic Superstars is the latest 2D Sonic game, and personally, I grew up with the 3D Sonics. So, original Xbox era, PS2 era for Sonic, that's what I grew up with, but, wow, I was really impressed with Superstars. Um, the gameplay felt very smooth, um, it didn't feel wrong, that's the way I can describe it, it felt perfect, because it legit felt like the Mega Drive games, like, that's the way I could describe the controls and the physics and all that, it felt just like the Mega Drive games. I had no problems there. Um, the graphics looked great. Um, I was playing on PS5. Um, they did actually have the Switch version there, but 
I played the PS5 version, as that's the one they had at the Sega booth. Yeah, really impressive there. It was fantastic. And yeah, I really like the look of it. It it was really fun, really enjoyable, and quite honestly, I'd be down to check it out again. Um, the next one, I'm not sure exactly what order I played everything at, but I know, I imagine this one I might have played next, but I'm not sure. That being Bears in Space! So, PlayOn had a little bit of a presence there, showing off the new Atari 2600+, Plus, which looked amazing. But yeah, Bears in Space, that was the game that they brought. It's a new indie first-person shooter, and the way I can describe it is Quake, but in space, with bears and robots. That's the way I can describe it. It, it sounds crazy, and it is, but I love it. I think it looks really fun, and I'm keen to give it more of a go, as I think it looks like a really enjoyable game. I'd love to check it out. Um, it's launching on PC first. Um, they did tell me that they are considering console in the future, but obviously there are a lot of factors they have to take into account. So for now, it's launching on PC. So yeah, I probably won't be covering it just yet, but I do like the look of it. It looks really fun. And yeah, I had a great time checking it out. And I actually got to meet some of the guys from Play on there so honestly it was amazing to see everybody there um then i played some prince of persia um the nintendo booth had the brand new prince of persia game there and you know what i liked it i think it had a really fun combat system the trolls are pretty good it yeah it was just that sort of 2d platformer type thing but it was fun the hack and slash gameplay was really good it was pretty enjoyable, and I'm keen to check it out. It looked pretty fun. Um, the last game I got to play, and this was a big one for me, Like a Dragon Gaiden, The Man Who Erased His Name. Um, yeah, it was really good. I've been recently getting into the Yakuza games, and this... This is great! Like, I think what the guys over at Sega did with this one was superb. And I'm definitely keen to check it out. It is going to be in Game Pass, so I'll definitely be downloading it. But, yeah, it looked really good. Definitely keen to check that one out. So, yeah, that was the games that I played. Um, Not that many, obviously, but I got to play the heavy hitters that I wanted to play, and... Honestly, I'm really keen to check out all of them, but they were all pretty fun. So right now that we had a look at all the games I played, let's take a look at all the merch I got. And oh boy, I got a lot of good stuff. Alright everyone, it's time to play everyone's favorite game, What Did I Get? And, well, it was mostly swag items, but I did purchase a few things, and I will show them off. But first, you guys might be curious what this year's badge looks like, and I really like the look of it. It has a very much a VHS base motif, and legitimately, it is gorgeous. Good work there, PAX team. This badge is fantastic. But, obviously, the lanyard is... Well, something I already had. But luckily enough, when you were entering into PAX, you got yourself a free lanyard. Yeah, so this is a special PAX Australia Asus ROG lanyard. And Asus had a really good booth there. They shot off the ROG Ally and that kind of thing. Really cool booth. Really cool stuff they've got there. So... Yeah, but that's the lanyards and the pack specific things. So right, let's get on to the game specific things. Now, first we're going to start with this little advert here for Scum. Oh, yep, Scum. Um, I've heard some interesting things about this game. It. Well, honestly, I might consider playing it. Um, it's an action battle royale shooter type thing 
from what I heard, it's pretty good, so that might be something on the might play pile. Um, play on were there, and they showed off a game called duh, 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 Bears in Space. There's the QR code, and there's the gorgeous artwork. I really like the look of this game, so definitely keen to try it. And they handed out with the game a little packet of gummy bears. So that's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's a really cool detail to f give out a few little gummy bears. So, yeah, props to the team there. You guys are fantastic. Um, I actually received another card as well from fellow content creator Mad Dog. Guys, please go check him out. Honestly, fantastic streamer. So glad to have met him in person here. It was fantastic. Then, I actually, this is one of the only items I purchased, but... Well, purchased for a very interesting way. Um, Cure Cancer had their Game on Cancer initiative at PAX, and, um, yeah, they had a little spinny wheel, which you would have saw in the video, and I won this guy. I won this water bottle. So, yeah, I just thought you guys might like to see it. It's a pretty nice little water bottle, too, so that'll come in handy. <laughs> All right, now for the big publishers. Sega did have a pretty good presence there, and then we're giving out a bunch of things. Um, first, for anyone who played Sonic Superstars at their booth, you were given this little Sonic Superstars pin, which I do like the look of it. I'm definitely keen to play more Sonic Superstars. Really hope I can work out something with those guys about a code, because legitimately the guys over at Sega and Five Star, they are fantastic. Love those guys. I'd love to work with them officially. Um, as well as that, if you played Yaku the new Yakuza game, Like a Dragon Guide and the man who erased his name, you got this little guy. A Ryuga Gotoku Studio thing. And I don't know what it is. I think it's a pin badge. Well, I believe it's a pin badge, but I'm not sure. But if we look here, yeah, it looks to be a pin, so... Yeah, nice little studio pin badge, which that's pretty neat. Um, they also, in to hand out the pin badges, they also handed out the Sega bag. <laughs> I really like the look of this little bag thing. Has the studio logo on the back there, but yeah, looks like I've got a new bag for me to carry stuff in. Thanks, Sega. <laughs> um, at the Nintendo booth... So, they had a little check-in area for My Nintendo members, which I'm one of them. And if you had a My Nintendo membership, you were gifted this little pin badge, a Mario. So, yeah, I think I did pretty well on the pin badges. <laughs> they were also gifting out these little Detective Pikachu Returns hats. I don't know how you figure out how to set this up, but it looks very nice. I do like the look of this guy, and man, look at that face. He's so cute. <laughs> but that all pales into comparison for the big item. I bought this, and I am so happy. I've wanted one of these for a long time, so... Clever pan shot here. God, this is big! <laughs> and, of course, the chain to reveal the Mickey is. Yep. Excuse the mess, but I own a Keyblade. A freaking Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. I've always wanted a replica of this, and now I do. Oh my god, Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite game franchises, so I am so glad to finally own a little bit of merch in the game that I really wanted. And, yeah, I'm finally happy to have it. I love the look of it. It's light. It's, like, it's meant to be light. It's definitely a cosplay prop. And I think the people who made this did a really good job on it. So, yeah, props to the guys who did this guy. But, yeah, really impressed with the haul there. So, overall, PAX Australia 2023. What did I think? There's a reason why it's the biggest gaming convention, and legitimately, it was amazing. I'm so glad I got to meet a lot of my friends there. 
I'm so glad I got to check out so many games there. It was legit amazing, and quite honestly, I'd love to do it again. This was a lot of fun, and man, I really enjoyed my time. Um, PAX is going to put a special memory for me because... Man, as someone who's been in the content creation sphere for the longest time, this has just been amazing. So, yeah, that's about it for this vlog video. I'll see you all next time. Johnny!